sure the thefts of George Floyd, Dante Wright, Breonna Taylor, and Sandra Bland, and countless others are not in vain, but move us toward true and unadulterated justice for our community. At the end of the horrors of the police brutality and the criminal justice system, the properly holds all law enforcement officials accountable. An end to qualified immunity, which protects government officials from lawsuits seeking monetary changes. Collect data on police encounters that will provide transparency and safety to our communities. We are gathering here today and tonight to honor those who have lost their lives due to police violence, while at the same time we will celebrate, we'll at least some of the steam, some of the pressure that has been on many black and brown people in this community and communities across this nation from death at the hands of police officers. So customary to our traditions, we're going to have a little blues music today. And we're going to try to let everybody, we've been locked up in COVID, it's time to let loose a little bit. And we've been struck down by the police violence and concern. And so today, we want to have a little time to reflect and to enjoy and also memorialize those who still lost their lives and continue our demands on police departments across this state to one, end qualified immunity, just uh, um, taking away police badges, decertification of police officers, oversight over police departments. We still want that. We are ecstatic and happy with the uh, outcome of the uh, verdict today, but we know it does not end today, that today is on a, only a beginning. We are thankful and would like to encourage other police officers to see people in their departments doing wrong, stand up and testify against those officers so we can get the police departments that they do serve and reflect the communities in which they are in. I will now have that uh, Reverend Floyd to come up. George, to come up and say something. This is just 10 minutes Good work. afternoon. My name is yeah, Reverend George, George Oliver. I'm the senior pastor of Grace Baptist Church here in San Jose. The songwriter says, it's a day of peace, a day of pride, a day of justice we have been denied, where a man can live and a child can play. We'll never get to heaven till we reach that day. Today is one great step in that direction of a better country and a better community even here in San Jose. We want to thank the tireless efforts of people like Jethro and the NAACP and many other activists and toilers who have kept this fire burning for this long so that people would not forget the name George Floyd, so that they would not forget that black lives and brown lives and the lives of Asian people and LGBTQ persons, they all matter. And it is important at this moment that we stand together as a community, red and yellow, black and white, because we're all precious in God's sight. And today, today, today we can celebrate together. A great victory is not a day for justice. This was a day for accountability. Next to me, I have uh, the mother of Jacob Dominguez, who was murdered. 